what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to achieve these unique titles using final cut pro 10 without any plugins let's go we already have our custom solids on our timeline we go to titles under titles we choose custom and drag on our timeline now we go to the test side and type in whatever you want to write with this i'll write subscribe then with the font size, I think I'll make it bold, increase it a little bit. Then later I can place it really in the dead center. Okay, this is good. Now go to your T side and play around the parameters. With the in position, we we'll go to Y axis, we'll type in minus 15. Then you go to in unit size, the character will change it to word so it will come in together. You do the same thing on out position with the Y axis, we'll type in minus 15. Then we'll go to the unit size, we change the character to word. So now you have something like this. It comes in and then later on it goes back to the position. Then go to your effect section side, type in shape mask. We'll drag it and drop it on our test that we have. Now let's go to the video inspector side and play around the parameters. With the curvature, we'll change it to zero. Further, we'll make it zero too. Then we'll drag it down to the top of the subscribe. Then you go to invert marks, take that. Now you have something like this. It comes out of the screen and then it goes back to the same direction. Now we need to work on the rectangle shape. You go to your generator side. Under generator, you click on element. Element, you choose shapes. You drag it on our timeline. Let's make it the same length with the test. So we click, we drag this to this side. Then go to the shape inspector side and play around the parameters. With the shape, we change it to rectangle. Fill, we untake that. Then we go to the outline color. We we'll use white, but you can choose any color you want. We close that. And the outline width will go with 35. We'll make it really thick. Then go to your drop shadow opacity. Drop it down to zero. So now we have something like this. It comes in the rectangle shape that we have. And we need to animate the rectangle shape that we have on top of the test. With that, you click on the shapes, go to your transition side. Under transition, you search for clock. You choose clock and you drop on your shapes that you have. Let's close this and let's delete the ending part. Now click on the transition that we drop on the shapes and we'll go to the parameters and play around it with the edge treatment we open that we'll go to border we'll drop it to somewhere five i don't want it to be too sharp at the same time not too blurry as you can see i want the shape to come in last when the test comes on the screen so this is what you do you will drag it somewhere here you just play around it and see how it looks like for you so with this i think i'll leave it somewhere there so now we'll go to the ending part and we'll do the same thing drag this to somewhere here click on the transition you have at the beginning press alt and drag it to the ending part so now we have something like this and then it goes back and with the ending style we can play around it let's go to the direction change it to counterclockwise so it will go back in the opposite direction we'll check and see how it looks like Later, you can make a compound clip of it. Let's name it test. And with the compound clip, you can change the size. Let's make it like somewhere 50. And at the same time, you can change the position to wherever you want it to be. Very simple as that. If you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe down to see more videos like this. All right, let's go straight back to the tutorial. So with the second title, just like we have on our timeline, we leave everything exactly the same. We go to the effect side, we search for shape mask, drag shape marks on the shapes. Then go to your parameters over here and play around it. With the curvature, we change it to zero. Then we go to our feather side, we change that to zero percent too. Then we'll drag this downwards. We just want the down part to show. So somewhere here will be okay. Now let's move that and see how it looks like. So that's the second title. Now let's move on to the third title. 
with the third title we'll maintain everything exactly how it is we'll click on this shape to bring the shape marks out let's make this small then we can drag the shape marks to this side we just want it to show on this side then make a duplicate of this press alt and drag upwards now with the top shape one selected we'll drag the mark shape that we have let's drag it just drag it to somewhere here now we see how it looks like if you made it this far i've got a playlist for you you can check that out and thank me later i love you guys peace